this is a video to let you know that Monkey has decided to let other people design our spawn area. If you go and watch his video, which is in the description below, you'll see the competition. And the competition winner will get to play with us guys on, on the server for a day, which is really cool. And we'd look forward to that. We could be playing PvP games, all sorts of things. But we decided at we film you watch that it would be really good if one of our viewers could actually design something there. If you design something, obviously you win, you get to go on Monkey's server. But if you use one of my ideas and you can further that, then you get to go and play with us on we'll set up a server, one of our our worlds and you can come play with us and we'll do some video in from that. So we've got some ideas for this area and what I'm going to do quickly now is show you my ideas and I would like you to take them on. If you take them on and you win then obviously you get both prizes. If you take them on but don't win it doesn't matter. I will pick the best design and you can come and play with us anyway. So underneath the spawn area we need an area with chests in. It's quite a big area so we could have just an open area or we could have a couple of rows of chests but I like the idea of having chests with these signs, um, the frames so that we can see what's in each chest. So some kind of design there, it could be wood, it could be anything. We need crafting area but we also need it to be lit up so you might want to think about some sort of lighting above there. And obviously everything needs to be done using cheap materials apart from iron which we have tons of. We could do some decoration around the outside. Inside this green area you're not allowed to put any switches or anything so that's why the chests are actually outside that green area under there. I thought a fountain in the middle would be quite nice. Around the outside we could have a hedge or we could have railings mimicking the design I'm thinking of at the moment. We also need, I think, a wider path. So when we come up here, it looks better. Now we could have a flat path as that one, or we could have a sunken path this side. And I quite like the sunken path because I think it matches. Maybe it needs to be one wider. And in the areas, we need to have some fountains, maybe a statue, if you could do it. But that whole area underneath also needs to be lit. Now, what else have we got here? Well, I thought initially we could have some sort of dome structure. Oops, I've left those on there. You could have water just coming down to that point here, or you could have it flowing right to the bottom. And you could make a dome structure up using this iron railings. And I like the fact that the iron railings, you can stack them like this. But what's even better is you can make girders, so you can make them thick. So there's lots of combinations you can make across here. And I've put a platform here. But what I wanted is an area that when we spawn, we spawn up here. Now a monkey might say that this is dangerous because you might actually fall off that side. But if you've died, then you've got nothing with you and you fall off that side, it's fine. But hopefully you'll fall this side. And to get down, we need a way down. Well, that's simple. We just drop and we hit the water. It's railing so we can jump over. So that all works. Now, what else have we got out here? We've got this blue box and we've got some lighting. So we need some lighting. So I'm going to show you about the lighting in a second, just after I show you the blue box. Let me just change the lighting. Okay, so inside here, these are actually just inside this green. This is where the green line is, along here. So these are just in the area where they can work, which is fine. And lo and behold, we have a TARDIS. We have some frames where these are kind of monsters we've captured, perhaps. Some planets we've visited, I don't know. So that's up to you. But I like the fact that if we have these portals all the way around, maybe we have two each side, like this, or one there, and some steps down to some other area, I don't know. It just gives you that buzz of sort of, it's like a TARDIS. So that's what I thought. 
Uh, you can design the floor, you can design the center console. Up the top, we have, whoops, laggy doors. Up the top, we have some lights, and I think the lights should be powered on. So there's area up, up the top where we could power that. And as you go through the door, perhaps, I don't know if it would work if it, if the door switches are here, and then you can have redstone into the middle. Perhaps Monkey would tell us if we can actually make that redstone then flash. So as you go in the door, the redstone flashes, so people know you've gone inside. The outside is not to scale, it needs to be about at least twice that height, I think. If you look at a proper a TARDIS, and you find images on the, if you just Google TARDIS, and it should have some white windows up the top. But I just put that there as an idea, because I think that's an excellent idea to get to the nether. So if we go through to the nether, here's my idea when we get here. This should be some sort of nice area. And these are going to be our railways. So because we are close to London and we use the underground, we have coloured lines that indicate which is which line. So I thought this is what we should have. A nice tracks like this. And I think it looks good. So you've got coloured tracks. So yellow perhaps will get to our place. Turquoise to binary guys. And you could have patterns. So you could have repeating red and pink perhaps if you wanted. You could have any choice. So the people would choose what colour track they would like. And then you just press the button and it dispenses a minecart, not a frame. Because frames don't actually run on rails. Okay, so that's that bit. Now, finally, we needed some torches. So these torches stay on all the time. And I thought, this is quite nice. You put a bit of wire up here. Well, not wire, but a wall. It looks like they're interconnected. So how do we get a redstone lamp to stay on? Well, that's what I'm going to show you. So the trick is, what you need to do is set it up this way. Put a redstone lamp. You need redstone on top, you need a repeater in front, redstone in front of the repeater, and a switch. You also need a piston and with a switch too. So the idea is that this switch is just to put the redstone on, but once it's on and you press this switch, it pushes the repeater away and then we just get rid of the rest of this. We have a redstone lamp that stays on. How's that? I will put a link into Hardcore Gaming Tips because that's where I got that idea from. Um, but the TARDIS is everything else is my ideas. Okay. So that's the competition. So enter Monkey's Competition. Go to his website to find out the details. And then if you win and you use one of my designs, you also get some time on our with us making a video. And that's it.